Okay, so in lesson five, we'll start diving into the early stages of the design process, focusing on visibility and massing. In this lesson, we'll start by dissecting the site analysis and start turning it into a tangible design solution by exploring massing options. This is a really crucial phase of the design process as this is the initial response to the site conditions, developing a building form, experimenting with spatial relationships and starting to find a solution to those client needs. And with this very generous plot of land, we will look at how we can begin to engage with the landscape and how we can build the massing, build the building into the slope so that there is a natural terrain and natural integration with the landscape. Now, Rain makes all of this process very straightforward and simple with their editing capabilities. It makes the whole iterative and sketchy process very quick and easy, and it isn't very restrictive. By the end of this lesson, I hope you get a good basis of the Rayon editing tools and be able to get a good understanding of massing and how we can begin to move forward with a refined design. So let's jump in and start designing. Now massing comes in a very early stage of an architecture project and the point of massing is to get an initial understanding of scale, how we can begin to start responding to the site in terms of spatial arrangements, where the points of access are, where the public and private areas are. And in this lesson, we're gonna start doing a massing study and begin to understand some building geometry, the design logic, and where we're gonna start positioning these spaces. Now, as you can see in my canvas, I have a site plan as a background. So this is simply copied and pasted over from my previous model, from my site analysis model. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure that it's dropped on the layer behind. So right at the bottom, as you can see here, site plan. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna lock it. So now anything that I do to this drawing, anything that I draw, the site plan isn't gonna move. And this is really important and a really great tool when you can use layers to make sure that you lock things in place if you don't want them to move or adjust as you draw. So the first thing that we're going to do is come down to this bottom left corner and you can see that we've already got a key for the spaces that we want to cover in this massing study. So we have four zones. We have the living zone, back of house zone, entrance and sleeping. So living being office spaces or living spaces, uh, dining room, kitchen, etc. Back of house being maybe garage, uh, utility room, entrance obviously being the main circulation routes and then the sleeping area, which is going to be obviously the bedroom themselves. And what we're going to do, which is going to help color code our massing and make sure that we are uh, identifying each space with our colors is I'm going to start saving some styles. So up to this point, you would have seen that we have been using quick styles. So to very quickly demonstrate when we've been drawing certain components, we have come over to this right hand side and we've come to the style tab and we've simply come over here and we've changed that particular line to a color. Now what I'm going to do here instead is going to start saving some styles. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my key where I have the colors already saved. I'm going to click on the shape and when I come over here on the right hand side where I come to the style tab, as you can see, I've already got the fill set and I've already got the stroke set. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click save style, which is basically going to save this style so that any shape or polyline or anything that I draw, I can assign this style to it and it will replicate that style to make sure that they're all linked in the following suit. So I'm going to call this style living. And as you can see, now when I click on this object, I have the style saved on the right hand side. And you can also find that in the left hand side when you click the bucket and you'll come down to the styles and you can see that style is saved there. And you can see I've done that throughout these other options as well. So we have the entrance style, we have the back of house style and we have a sleeping style, which means that essentially anything that we draw. So if we draw a rectangle and we want to make sure that we have that assigned to the right color code, we'll come over to the right hand side, click the four squares, we'll select living. And there we go. So that very quickly and easily color coded and making sure that we're drawing our massing and having it all kind of identified easily when we're drawing. Just before we begin to start define some masses, I'm going to do a very quick sketch. So based on my initial understanding of the site, I think there are two quite clear zones that are defining these kind of public and private areas. First, we have this key site entrance, which I think becomes quite a clear, more public zone where you have vehicle access and pedestrian access and this is opening up an opportunity for 
a potential driveway or a location for a garage. And then we have a zone down here on the south side of the site, which is going to be much more sensitive to a more private zone where we have this opportunity for views over to the landscape. Uh, we want to obviously try and create some space away from these neighboring properties. And so we have these kind of two clearly defined zone, public and private. Now these two zones between public and private, I think we can begin to kind of play between the two and kind of blur the boundaries. But I think initially as a sketch, we're beginning to create some divisions, as you can see here, cutting through these public and private zones. We then could have potentially some geometry following here, which is creating this enclosure of this public zone and creating that kind of division between the two. And then we could also have some geometry running along down this west side of the plot that is creating that division with the neighboring building. So we almost have these kind of three lines where we are creating this private zone and then we're creating this public zone. And this is a kind of geometry that could begin to break up the site and break up the components where we could start identifying where these masses could begin to drop, where they could start rotating. So to begin to just start drawing some mass, I'm going to come down, we're going to select the rectangle tool and I'm going to try and do a maybe five meter by 15 meter square or maybe we'll do six meter by 19 meters and if we scale and if we scale up slightly maybe we have some geometry that sits like so meaning therefore if we select that copy it over rotate it and begin to start defining maybe a zone here this could potentially be a garage or some back of house space which we can then identify as maybe a back of house space like so. So then we're kind of creating this opening where we have a driveway, which we can maybe just sketch in quickly. So maybe you have uh, something like this, and then maybe this could be some landscaping. So there's a clear opening here where cars can drive in, drive into the garage, and then potentially this becomes a bit of an access point here. And at this moment, this is just going to be super sketchy as we work through the design and try to find some solutions. And then clearly we have another opportunity here, which if we follow the same axis through and we maybe make this slightly thinner and longer, we then have a clear opportunity here of creating another axis, enclosing this space and also opening up an opportunity here where the buildings and masses are kind of rotated away from the neighboring buildings, but also opening up this view across the landscape. So we almost have this viewpoint here created from this axis. So then we have a kind of clear division of zones. We have a back of house area, which makes sense to the driveway and the garage space. We then have a living zone, which is clearly located and positioned to have views over uh, the landscape and over towards the sea and then this could be some kind of interaction between interior and exterior space where you have this relationship between the two and although looking at this massing this hinge here is probably a little too kind of rigid it's a little bit too of a kind of 90 degrees so potentially we'll rotate this round slightly more and open up those views over the landscape and we can maybe kind of play with the geometry slightly by bringing this form out slightly so we kind of create this this edge and this could be a zone here that has some maybe views over the landscape in this direction and what we have here by opening up this space and rotating it is that we have quite a nice pocket a nice opportunity for these rotations over the view and having this kind of panoramic view over the landscape now just to clean up this driveway slightly and maybe delete some of this geometry just to make it a little cleaner to kind of just adjust some of these shapes we would arrive at something like this which is just a little bit neater so as you can see there is a clear entrance zone here which is more of a public area access to the garage potentially here is a clear intersection point or maybe some entrance access here and we can maybe play with the geometry slightly here and we could even cut into this follow this line through if we follow that through 
we make that two. We make that three mil. And we could create a kind of pocket here, maybe a, a porch or an entrance point to make this opportunity here. And maybe as you arrive at the scheme and you arrive into this space, you instantly have these views over the landscape. So you have that kind of permeability through the building. So let's actually trim this. We'll redraw this along. And then we'll change this style to entrance. And there we have, we have a entrance point striking through the site. Coolan. And here by creating this kind of kink into the simple massing, and we're obviously following a very simple geometry here, very simple forms, but we're slicing into that block to create this opening and this kind of welcoming and um, arrival points for the scheme, which can be broken through and kind of having these views all the way through with the glazing to have that permeability through the site encouraging you into the space, encouraging you into the property um, and having that kind of sense of arrival. So this geometry I think is really simple, but it's responding to everything that we are kind of looking for with the scheme. We have the kind of more public zone where we have vehicle access and pedestrian access. Uh, we have a, a kind of garage. So as you can imagine, cars could drive potentially straight in. And then if you've got a kind of visitor or a guest, you could have a car parked here this could all be landscaped uh, with plenty of trees to create that kind of division um, between the kind of natural division between the neighboring properties we obviously have this very large and expansive living space uh, which has these kind of very panoramic views over the landscape as it's orientated towards the landscape and away from the neighboring properties and we have this clear entrance point that is linking all of these spaces. It's kind of the, the central point to the scheme that is going to link all of these spaces together and having people, giving people the choice of choosing which space to access when they enter the scheme. They go left, right, straight on, etc. And if we quickly switch our attention to the site section, we can begin to explore how this massing could sit into the landscape. So we clearly have this kind of long massing that could be striking through the landscape and could sit like so. You're almost looking at it like so, where we have this long piece that is extending out over the landscape. This is creating all of those views, those panoramic views over the landscape. We've got this geometry poking towards us and this out the back embedded into the landscape where we could have potentially the garage space. So we're almost kind of embedding into the landscape and then we could explore maybe a mass on top to kind of have that tiered and stepped effect. So now when we start looking at the sleeping spaces, I think there is a kind of clear position if we want to have master bedrooms that also want to have these views over the landscape. Um, but we also don't want to kind of build too high for this neighboring property. Therefore, the, the location where we want to have height uh, in the space is probably around these zones here. And even if we follow the kind of simple mass and language of the scheme, it could even be potentially just a block or a volume sat above here on the upper floor, which we can change to sleeping. So maybe we have potentially we could work with a double height space where we have the entrance point. Maybe we could have like a stair feature. And maybe there could be access out the back on top of the garage. Maybe this could also be grass if we actually embed this into the landscape. We could have a maybe balcony space on top of this living space here. So by having this geometry here and placed on top of these lower levels, we create the opportunity of having these kind of pockets of outdoor space and working with the entrance space and making these grand openings and double height space and atriums um, to create these nice voids within the building and if we consider that mass being sat on top of our initial volume and let's make that three meters like so this could potentially depending on the direction of the section 
really that mass is sat like so. So we could potentially embed this mass slightly more into the landscape. We could potentially drop this down. And at the other end where we have the slope kind of sloping away from the site and down towards the beach, we could maybe play with some levels where as you drive in, where you drive your car in here, there could potentially be a slope down here so that garage is embedded into the landscape. So you're essentially kind of driving in to the landscape, which would be pretty cool. And then out the back here, you've got potentially kind of flat paving if you leveled out some of this area here. And then you could kind of work with the landscape as you're looking out over the views. And also at this stage, we could introduce the kind of barn language by maybe just adding a nice kind of pitch roof which we could then of course just to clean it up it's probably going to look something like that so we have this nice very simple massing very simple geometry this design approach and design logic is to do something very simple kind of very blocky but then also in plan as you can see playing with those slight shifting and rotating of the views and playing with the geometry slightly but obviously still following a very simple massing. Now moving forward into lesson six, we're gonna to begin to dissect some of these spaces, start divining some zones that could be rooms or circulation spaces and begin to actually find some space in these masses.